Okay. Good evening, good evening, my Faith Nation. You guys are welcome to my channel. I'm so grateful and so happy that um, I'm reaching out to people. I'm reaching out to souls. And um, I hope that God, well, whoever finds this page or whoever f comes across the videos that I have done or the teachings that I've done, rather, I hope you guys are touched and I hope you guys have had a transformation or a change of perspective concerning faith. And I hope you guys are practicing it and are doing what is meant to be done with it which is greatness which is greatness so uh today we are going to continue we are almost done guys we are almost done you know it's good to respect the word and and sit and really understand what god is trying to say so things may seem a bit uh slow but um i know why the process is as it is it should be it should be like this there's no rush there's no need to be rushing across the word but there is every need to sit with the word and to understand the word and to understand the wisdom of god in the word so we are continuing the fact that the unrighteous hold the truth hmm. The unrighteous hold the truth. Now we know that. Now we know why the unrighteous hold the truth. So I'm just going to continue from verse 20. I'm just going to read 20, but we're going to focus on 21. So it is, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Okay. Whew. Okay. So now let us get to the teaching. You know how I teach, guys. I teach by definition, with definition. And obviously, with the guidance of the Holy Spirit being my author, I'm here to educate and teach you guys. Now, I just want to, I'm focusing on verse 21, and I just want to first define what glorified means. Now, to be glorified is to be honored, is to be honored and is to be praised. Honored and praised. Yes. Okay, so let me just quickly move this. Um, just hold on, guys. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm glad there was a pause there. We read the scripture. Let us get into prayer before we start the teaching. Dear Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this session. We thank you for the word that we are about to read. Father God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus this evening that may you make us one with you, with your son Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And whatever it is, Father God, that we are believing you for, we know that it is done, Father God, and we believe and we have faith that it is done in the mighty name of Jesus, that your goodness is here, that the light is here, that you are here to give us peace, you are here to give us a sound mind. And Father God, we thank you for the blessings of the fruits of the Spirit. We say, Father God, may you increase in us the fruits of the Spirit, and may you continually establish us for your purpose father god and in the teaching of the word we pray the presence of the holy spirit to come and 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 um 
encounter encounter the soul winners that are here on this channel father god may we send the holy spirit out to them and uh we say father god in the mighty name of jesus may they receive the word may they receive the word in full and may they receive it to their understanding we bless your name and we put you on high this morning this evening and we say father god arise 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 because we lift you up high because you are mightier than anything anything that exists on this earth you have the power you have the eternal power you are mighty and there is no one greater than you but you lord because you're the greatest you're the greatest and there's no one above you. So this evening, this word, we give it to you, Father God, and we pray that may you be present in it, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Ha. Let us just rebuke the devil. How do we start? How do we start without an opening prayer? Anyway, we are glad that we did because the word is blessed. So, um, glorified by definition is to honor and to praise, to be honored and to be praised. And we are talking about the unrighteous, guys. Let's not lose track. We are talking about the unrighteous, right? And now we have come to the point where God says, when they knew God, when these unrighteous people knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Right. Now, when the unrighteous knew, I'm, gonna, I'm starting. When the unrighteous knew about God and his truth, when they knew his truth, because the unrighteous hold the truth, it is made manifest in them. They have the grace. When the unrighteous knew his truth, they chose not to see him. They chose not to see God and his power. And they refused in their hearts to acknowledge God. They refused in their hearts to acknowledge God. They know his truth, but they are refusing in their hearts to acknowledge him. And this is an on-purpose act of their unrighteous hearts. On purpose. On purpose. There is so much power when people do things on purpose and in purpose. They did this on purpose. They chose not to see him. They chose not to see his power. They chose not to listen to his truth. And in that moment of their knowing, neither one was thankful. Neither one were, was thankful for the truth. And neither one gave him respect and showed him appreciation. They refused to do that which was honorable to God. They did not worship and praise him. Neither showed him gratitude. They instead became ungrateful, unthankful, and unappreciative. The truth had been told and made manifest in them, and they were not thankful. When God gives you a word, or when you come to a realization or a revelation of some sort, it's good to be thankful for that revelation. It's good to honor him. It's good to say, Lord, I appreciate the presence of your revelation in my life. I appreciate the presence of the Holy Spirit in my life. I honor you. I glorify you. For you have showed me the truth. You have told me the truth. You have made the truth manifest inside of me. 
So I will show you how grateful I am. When God reveals the truth in your life, glorify him. Glorify him. Show him gratitude. Be grateful. Show him appreciation. In that moment of knowing the truth, just quickly snap out of wow. Quickly snap out of the, oh wow, the revelation. I just got the revelation. Quickly glorify him and say, thank you, Lord, for the revelation. Before you can even take it to anybody, before you can even share your testimony, you thank God for the truth. Because that truth is made manifest in you. And that truth is meant to be known. Is meant to be shared. So you need to cover the truth. And you need to be sure of the truth. So that when you speak it, you speak it with authority. And here, the unrighteous have the gift of grace. Everybody's got the gift of grace. But the unrighteous have the gift of truth. They have the gift of truth. The, the truth is with them. It is held with the unrighteous and it is made manifest because this is the wisdom of God. It's made manifest in them. So the least one can do is to thank the Lord for their revelations. Okay. And then it says... Um, but became vain in their imagination and their foolish hearts were darkened. Vain by definition is empty, emptiness. Vain by definition means useless, worthless, having no substance, value or importance. When something When when something refers or when there's a reference to the word vain, we mean empty, useless, worthless, having no substance, value, or importance. Now, I want to emphasize this, guys. There is power in being thankful. There is power all around. There is power all around, guys. Now, as much as God has given in you the substance of truth, because you are not in glory of him, all you ever become is empty. All you ever become is empty until you tell the souls his truth. Until you tell the souls his truth, then you become full of his truth. And you now have the substance of God in your truth. There's substance in truth. As much as God has given you, it's as much as God has given in you the substance of truth because you are not in glory of him. All you ever become is empty until you tell the souls his truth. Then you become full and full of his truth. Then now you have the substance of God. God has put you in use with his, with his truth. God puts you in use with his truth. There's nothing that ever goes useless with God. When God puts something inside of you, it's there to be used. You need to be useful. Okay, let's continue. God has put in you the truth.
He has put you in use with his truth. But the minute you shy from his truth and are silent, you become useless. The minute you become ashamed of his truth and you go silent in his truth, you become useless. It is only the enemy that wants you to be useless by denying the truth. The enemy wants you to be useless by denying God's truth. You deny God's truth, you become useless. You are in vain. By denying God and his son, you become in vain. It is only the enemy that wants you to be useless by denying the truth, denying God and his son, Jesus Christ. The truth, guys, the truth is made manifest in you. But you become useless. Or you are useless because you are not speaking the truth to the world. Speak the truth to the world. Speak the truth about faith and what faith can do for the next person's life. Speak the truth of faith. Don't be vain. Don't be useless. Don't be worthless. Don't be without importance or of value. Don't choose not to have substance. Choose to be full. Be filled with the truth of God. Okay, let's continue. To be worthy is to stand approved in the sight of God and his appointed leaders. To be worthy. Just look at the opposite of what, what vain is. Vain, right? Just hold on. I want to get that right. Vain. One of the words that define vain is worthless. But look at the opposite of that. To be worthy. When you choose to be full, you are worthy. To be worthy is to stand approved in the sight of God and all his appointed leaders. God has given you worth in your unrighteousness because he believes you have the worth. What gift is that, guys? It's amazing. God has given you worth in your unrighteousness because he believes you are worthy. He makes you worthy through his appointment in you for his kingdom. He makes you worthy through his appointment. It's through God. It's through God. You don't just get into things. He makes you worthy through his appointment in you. Through his appointment in you for his kingdom because this is where God works inside of us inside of us you have a place a respectable place in the kingdom of heaven and 
earth unrighteous the unrighteous the wisdom of god guys like take time to understand it the unrighteous have a place a respectable place in the kingdom of heaven and on earth and remember i told you guys why god chooses the unrighteous because they're able to execute they're able to follow instructions they are they are, they are wise they're intelligent they're able to take instructions they have the gift it's just a matter of converting to light from darkness they have the gift and i'm not saying go and be unrighteous so that you have truth in you uh -uh. god has his chosen okay um mm -hmm. you have a place god doesn't dwell on darkness and the darkness you are in currently no god does not dwell on darkness god does not dwell uh, uh in the darkness you're in currently that's that's not his that's not his aim all he wants is to make you worthy through his truth god dwells in the light and he's just trying to get you there. He's trying to get you there. God doesn't dwell on darkness and the darkness you are currently in. He wants to make you worthy through his truth. In that moment of darkness, whatever darkness you are facing right now, whoever is going to hear this, whatever darkness you are facing right now, allow the truth of God to rest in your heart. Read the word of God. And do not debate the word of God. Do not ask questions. Remove yours. You have the power. You have the power to ask God to remove you from that place of darkness. God wants you in the light. He wants you in the light. He wants you to glow and shine brightly. And shine bright. He wants to polish you so that you are worthy so that you are full you have the anointed power you have the anointed power to produce a supernatural substance that will stand up for god the unrighteous they have the anointed power to produce a supernatural substance that will stand up for God. The minute they convert to righteousness, they are standing up for God, these people. They stand up for God. They become the representatives of God. They are there 100%. You are given value and importance as a representative of God. You are given value and importance as a representative of God. Do not be in vain with his truth. Do not be empty. Do not create an emptiness with his truth. It does not work. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help the next person. It's not going to help the situation. Your silence does not help the situation. The truth helps the situation. Do not choose to debate or question his ways. Do the honorable thing and glorify him in your darkness. And you will see the truth of God manifest in you. You will see the truth of God manifest in you. And the truth is that Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. And we are covered by the blood and we are soaked under the blood. And we are hidden under the blood from the enemy. And we are sitting on the right hand of God. 
the Father. In that moment of your darkness, choose God. Choose God. Say, God, you are the light. And I choose light. I know this place that I'm in right now is not a good place. But I am choosing light. Get me out of this darkness and put me into light. So that I can know your truth. So that I can live your truth. So that the truth of God may manifest in me. We have to want to be useful in life. We have to have the desire to be useful in life. And it's important for us to be useful in the things of God. Because the things of God will continually edify you. And they will grow you. And they will elevate you. And you will become wiser. And you'll become smarter like God. You will think like God. You will act like God. You will possess the character traits of God. Faith is a character trait. Truth is a character trait. Eternal power is a character trait. Grace is a trait. Leadership, apostleship is a character trait. You become such an important factor. But because it's, it's, it's a God thing and you're not focused on those things, they, they automatically just rest on you. And when you enter a room, the presence of the Lord speaks. It's not even you speaking. The body is there, but the presence is the Lord's. The presence is of the Holy Spirit. The character traits. Want to be worthy. Want to be useful. Want to have substance in life. Imagination by definition is the ability to form a mental imagination of something not present to the senses. Imagination by definition is the ability to form a mental image of something not present to the senses. I, wa I want you guys to, 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 to just rest here. Rest on this word called imagination and vain. Be but they became vain in their imagination. They became empty in their imagination. They became useless in their imagination. There was no substance in their imagination. There was no value. There was no importance in their imagination. They were just empty and useless. Their imagination is empty and useless. Because they glorified him not as God. And they were not thankful. But instead, they became vain in their imagination. They just lied to themselves. And when you lie to yourself, when you create an emptiness in your imagination, that, that is, there is so much power in creation, guys. Imagine creating an emptiness in your imagination. That there's, there's power there because there's a creation. Now imagine creating a fullness in your imagination. A fullness of God and the fullness of truth. That one sticks. That one sticks. And I just want to say, guys, God is not an imagination. God is the truth is not an imagination. Faith is not an imagination. There's a difference between imagination and visualization and having a, a vision for yourself. They, they are two totally different things, three totally different things. 
is uh, imagination is one is, is what you form in your in your mental mind in your mental image you form it you create it it becomes something that you think will become something but it's not it's just an imagination imagination by definition I'm going to leave it there, guys. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, guys. Sit. Sit. And understand. Vain. Imagination. They became vain in their imagination. Understand what it is to be thankful. Understand what truth does to you in your life. Before your foolish hearts get darkened. Because you are creating things in your mind. You're creating a truth that, that's, that's, that's not truthful. Like, I don't even know how I can say that, but you're creating nothing. You're creating an emptiness. In your, in your, it's your imagination. It's not true. It's not present. The truth of the Lord is what is present. The truth of the Lord is what makes sense. The truth of the Lord is what will take you out of darkness. And the truth of the Lord is what will save you from foolishness. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm going to take it easy with this one. Go read Romans chapter 1, verse 21. They glorified him not as God, because neither were thankful. Gratitude is everything. Appreciation is everything. Today, after watching this video and after this teaching go go and try and just be appreciative of what you have around you not how much you have what you have truth is everything God is everything his gospel is everything. It's your choice. Are you choosing to be vain in your imagination? Or are you choosing to be thankful? Are you choosing to glorify God in your situation right now? Are you choosing to accept God where you are right now? In the midst of this video, are you choosing God are you choosing to respect him? Are you choosing to honor him? Are you choosing to, to respect the wisdom of him? What are you choosing today? I hope that you guys choose the light. And I encourage you guys to choose the light. And I encourage you guys to dwell in truth, not an imagination. Not something that is created in your mind. It's not the truth. The truth is written. The truth is in the word. It is written. You will not live by bread only. But you will also live by every word of God. That is the truth. That is the truth. Live according to the word. That is your truth. It's not a it's not a, a a thing that you need to like dig for. You just need to read. Understand the word. Do not become vain in your imagination. Lest you be foolish. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to close this with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for the word. Thank you, Father God, for alerting us. Alerting us on the importance of being grateful for your truth. The importance of glorifying you. The importance of honoring you and praising you for your truth, Father God. Because the truth is the light. The truth is the way. In truth, Father God, there is always a breakthrough. So, Father God, we just want to thank you for the truth and we want to thank you for educating us on vain imagination. We want to thank you, Father God, that you have assured us that we do not have to use our imagination to know the truth, but we need to draw closer to you to know the truth and that we need to choose the light for us to know the truth. So this evening, Father God, we just want to say thank you. We thank you for all the things that you've done for us. And for those that will be coming across this video, I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak life and success into your life. And I speak the truth of God into your life this evening. That may you receive his truth. And may you receive the spirit of understanding and the, and the wisdom of God which is his son, Jesus Christ. We honor you and we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Amen. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe, guys. Let's continue. It's not over. Cheers.